Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Software Tutorialer. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to insert and format text and titles in Corel Video Studio. So you'll see that below in the timeline I have already got a small project opened up here which I will be adding to after I've done this tutorial. Um, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a title to the beginning of this um, to introduce the video clip. So to do this, what you do is you click on title, which is this little tab here in the middle, and then you'll see it opens up a load of default templates. Now you can use these, and it's absolutely fine to use these. You can They're actually a really good thing if you're not that experienced with the software, because you can sort of put it in there as a template and build off it. Um, or you can start from scratch entirely, which is what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial to show you what to do. So like I say, you can use these if you want, but if you do want to start from scratch, then what you do is double click on the screen, like it says here, and then you'll see it opens up this little box, and this is where you can type in what you want to have in your project. So for this, I'm going to put a uh, day trip in London. And you can see it has inserted that now, and it is Times New Roman, so it's a very common font, um, and it's a bit plain to be honest so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lighten it up a bit and make it a bit more exciting so I'm going to change the font change the size change the color and add either a border or a shadow to it so to do all this what you do is make sure it's selected which it is now it should look like that and then you go over here and you can see there's all these different fonts you can choose from so I'm just going to go down and I'm going to try and find a good one something a bit more exciting um, I'm going to go for Candy Round BTN and you can see it's now changed the font there. I'm now going to change the colour and to do that it's this box here. Now mine's white because the default colour is white but it could be any colour because anything could be selected. So I'm going to go for a bit of a brighter colour. Uh, I'm going to go for a green if that stands out. Mm, blends in with the bridge a bit uh, so I'm going to change it again. Try a blue. A blue's. Mm, it should be alright when it's got a shadow behind it or a border. So I'm going to keep it on blue. I'm now going to make it bold. So I can do that here. It's made it a bit more bold. And I'm going to make it larger. So you can either use this drop down menu here and you can choose a bigger number because that will increase the size of the font. So you could go for something like 90. That's a lot bigger and more clear. Um, or if you didn't want to do that, then all you have to do is drag one of these corners, drag it inwards to make it smaller, and drag it outwards to make it larger. So I'll just keep it around 90. Just use the drop down menu. And that's back at 90. I'm now going to align it to the center. And to do that, make sure it's selected, and then click here in alignment, align to center. Now you can align it anywhere around the page using these arrows. Right, so now it's aligned to center. I'm now going to add a border or shadow. So you click on this, and you can see you can choose a border or a shadow here. So first of all, I'm going to go for a shadow and see what it looks like. And if it's not very good, then I'll add a border as well, or instead of. So this is the first one you can change. You can change the X and the Y axis. This is how far away from the actual text the shadow is. So you can see it's actually a long way at the moment. It's 10, and I don't want 10 at the moment. I'm going to make it a lot smaller, like that, and you can see it's fairly transparent as well. So if I make that as a zero, then you'll see that it's made it a lot more bold and more visible. Also the soft edge, I'm just going to decrease that a bit, so I'm going to drop that down to 20. See what that looks like. It's making it a lot sharper. Um, and I'm just going to increase that a bit again, just so it's a bit more clear. And then click OK. So you can see it's now added that background shadow and it's making the blue stand out from the picture more. So there are more things I can do. It does still blend in with the picture a bit, so I'm going to attempt to put a border on. Not a very large border, but this is the border width. So we'll just try one for a start, change the line color to black. You can already see it's standing out more, so if I just increase it a bit more. Two should be enough for this really. And if you want to, you can change the transparency and the soft edge as well. So I'm just going to click OK. And you can see that is the text inserted and formatted 
in Video Studio X7. So there are more things you can do. You can change the angle, for example, you click on it and you can change the way it angles on the page. So you can have it like that if you wanted to. You can have it any angle, any 360 degree angle. Um, in fact, I will keep it like this. I'll just drop it down a bit to about 30, minus 30. And that is that bit done. I'm now going to move on and just show you what a text backdrop is. Now this is probably not what you would want for something like this because it sort of covers up the picture behind, but you can change the transparency. What you do is you click on here to customize it. And you can change everything here. You can have a solid background bar that goes across the whole screen. Now if you just had one piece of text which was angled straight across the page, horizontal, instead of at this angle, um, then it wouldn't cover up quite as much of the page. Um, so it would probably be more ideal for that rather than when you've got an angled piece of text. Um, but you can do that if you want to. Um, or you can fit it with the text so it doesn't quite take up as much of the page. Um, and you can have an ellipse, a rectangle, curved edge rectangle or a rounded rectangle. So there's all kinds of different things there. But I'm not going to have this. Um, but just to show you, you can also change the transparency. So I could have that as 70. And you can see that it's going to, it probably would work actually. It makes the text stand out more if you've got a much brighter background. So you could use it if you wanted to, um, probably with an even more transparent background though. And probably with something like a black. It would look like that. Which doesn't actually look that bad. It's just, it's a bit visible having a box there. So yes, what you need to do really is just have a go and that's what I do. I just have a go and when I'm happy with it, then I will keep it. Normally I'll do something and then I come back to it a bit later on and I think, oh, that's not actually that good. So really what you have to do is just, you just got to keep perfecting it until you got it right. Um, I always play around with the software until I'm happy with it because um, there's so much stuff you can do. So really just have a go and see what you can do with it. I'm just going to remove that text backdrop though because I don't really need it on this. Um, but yes, that is what it looks like. You can see that there. Remove text backdrop. And that is the day trip in London. So now it would be a slideshow from this point onwards um, showing the day trip in London. So hopefully this video has opened your eyes to how to insert text and titles in Video Studio. If you want anything more advanced, for example, subtitles, anything like that, um, and animation for the text or effects for it, then that's no problem at all. I'll be doing that in a future tutorial. Um, and if, if anyone does want that sooner, then just write below and I'll do that as soon as possible. So hopefully that has helped you to insert these titles. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next tutorial.